What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another random general message for the Collective. Hopefully everyone's doing well, feeling blessed, and highly favored. Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So you guys know the name of the game. Uh, we're going to get into the cards. We're going to see who's in our energy, anything we don't see coming, any updates or progress on our current situations. Uh, I'm going to use the Kipper-ish and Brit's third eye tarot. Um, I started to read. This was actually like, you know, this is my second attempt at this. I started to read. I got like 20 minutes into it. I was doing the Kelsey Cross. And then uh, I, I realized the camera wasn't even recording. So I'm just going to start over <laughs> and try this again. Um, the last one was pretty interesting, though. Um, but yeah, I have pre-shuffled these decks. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, Kipper-ish here. See what energy we have that comes out for us. Rich girl. Occupation. Reverse. Conflict. Reverse. Jealousy and envy. Reverse and child reverse so we have rich girl occupation conflict or rich girl occupation reverse conflict reverse jealousy and envy reverse uh and child reverse um rich girl this is like queen of pentacles energy can be a man or a woman uh this person is typically successful you know they have a lot of money they're really good with money uh they can be business oriented um you know a lot of you are in this energy um but yeah, rich girl, legal, Jezebel, flying monkey reverse, abundance. So, you know, there's some type of situation, you know, this has been coming out. There's some type of situation that's like a legal matter. Like there's something to do. There's something, you know, uh, like legal in court, um, that has that involves a lot of money i don't know what this is i have no idea what this is but there's like the laws involved and there's a lot of money involved um i feel like the masculine energy is somehow involved too this flying monkey in reverse you know this is somebody that was working against you and they they're not anymore uh maybe because of the abundance maybe because of the money this was somebody that could have been in Jezebel energy, you know, very lustful. Um, rich girl is in the upright. So like I say, collective, I feel like that's you. There's some type of legal situation involving you, uh, a Jezebel, a flying monkey, and a lot of money. <laughs> um, what is this? What's this abundance? Man? What is that? Uh, yeah, and then a karmic femme. Involving a karmic femme as well. Uh, sweetheart reverse, that's queen of cups. Reverse energy. Uh, somebody, you know, codependent, needy, jealous, insecure. Mature woman reverse. I get Empress reverse energy off of this. These could, these could possibly be two separate people. Um, let me pull a couple more. Karmic masculine reverse. It's like, a, these are separate energies. I feel like there's a lot of people involved. Like there's a lot of distorted energies involved. The only one in the upright is you, collective. There's a lot of distorted energies here. I mean, and I guess that makes sense that wherever the, um, the abundance is or the money is, you know, you're sure to find a karmic. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, occupation reverse. <laughs> You know, somebody could have held a job, uh, had a position, a title, or had a job, and maybe they have lost it. Uh, they could be losing it. Um, occupation, reverse. House, reverse. Somebody could be losing a home. Or this could be like, you know, an organization, a group of some sort. Health concern, reverse. Moving on. Mature man, reverse. Distant future, just kind of want to spin around. Distant future, reverse. 
Um, so somebody has lost a title. Somebody's lost either a job, lost a title, a position. Uh, they could potentially be losing a home as well. This can also represent like a group or organization. Somebody could have lost a title or position with a group. Um, this person could have a currently be, you know, currently have a health concern, could be in bad health, um, or somebody's coming out of bad health and moving forward, you know, moving on. Uh, this is, um, you know, a distorted masculine energy. I get emperor reversed energy. Um, and that was in the last read, uh, this emperor reverse. Uh, this person's trying to move on. They're trying to move forward and uh, distant future reverse. This is like, you know, near future, something, uh, you know, happening soon or happening currently. Unbothered. Destruction reverse. Yeah, this is somebody that's just there moving past like the bull entity attachment reverse. They, yeah, this is somebody releasing toxicity. Um, you know, maybe coming out of destructive energy. You know, they don't want to be bothered. Unbothered. They just don't, they don't want to be bothered with the drama, the rah rah. This is somebody moving forward, moving on. This, this masculine energy here. Uh, conflict reverse, you know, this could talk about the end of a conflict, you know, no more fighting, or it could talk about extreme conflict as well, you know, uh, conflict reverse, nice guy, that's king of cups energy, family reverse, false narrative reverse, so this is like, like I said, king of cups in uh, the upright, uh, this person is coming out of conflict, they don't want to fight, they don't want to argue, uh, Maybe with a karmic family or group of some sort. Because a false narrative has been revealed. Like there was, there were some lies going around. There was a false narrative. And I feel like that's been uh, exposed. You know, the truth has come out. Um, or maybe this person is in like serious deep conflict with their family or a group uh, based on, you know, some lies that were told. False narrative. Rich guy reverse. Animosity. Bondage reverse. Achievement. So rich guy reverse. This is a uh, King of Pentacles reverse energy. Uh, masculine energy. Somebody superficial, materialistic, overly concerned with money. Uh, this person's mad. Maybe because the false narrative has, you know, the truth has come out about that. And somebody's no longer trapped. Bondage reverse. Somebody's gotten gotten free. Broke free. To get some type of achievement. Yeah, I feel like these are two separate people, I feel like. I don't know. I don't think that's the... That's the same person. Uh, then we have jealousy and envy in reverse. You know, somebody could be coming out of jealousy and envy. Um, somebody could be extremely jealous and envious. Endings. Something is, uh, you know, something's coming to an end here. Yeah. I, that's, that's the vibes I get. Courthouse. Uh, this is like some type of legal matter. Remember, we had legal over here. This is some type of legal matter. Something in court that's involving a lot of distorted energies and a lot of money. Um, something's over, you know, um, I get like permanent ending, like no, you know, no reconciliation. This could be something in court, could be a divorce, custody battle, child support. I don't know. Earth angel. This is going to go in your favor, beloved. This is something, something pertaining to you. You know, um, you may or may not be aware about this. But whatever this is, there's something that's coming to an ending. I feel like there's this is like going to be like a legal ending too, you know. Uh, and it's pertaining to you know Earth Angel um, Collective. Yeah, somebody ascending. Unexpected money in reverse. Yeah, there's going to be some people mad, or there are some people mad because they were expecting some type of money, some type of uh, pinnacle. And maybe they, they're not getting it. They're not getting the unexpected money. So there's a lot of chaos, chaos and conflict um, amongst the group of people, or at least, you know, yeah, amongst, you know, multiple people. Manipulation. 
These people could have tried to manipulate something. Yeah, no, the manipulation's over. Yeah, that's what this is. Uh, uh, this talks about a permanent ending. This could be a physical ending as well. But, uh, you know, this is a permanent ending. I feel like this is a permanent ending to the manipulation. If these people were manipulating people, a uh, situation, placing illusions, whatever the case, you know, uh, that's over. It's coming to an end. Hence why we had that endings. Like, it's a wrap. <laughs> um, this could be like real court or this could be, you know, spiritual court. You know, depending on the situation. Um, but I feel like it works out for you. It works out for you great, you know. Um, then we have child reverse. You know, this is either uh, somebody losing a child or somebody, you know, losing uh, a new beginning, a fresh start. Child reverse. Karma. Relationship. Priest. Boss reverse. Thief reverse. So there's, you know, there's something, you know, there could have been, you know, a, a, a fresh start or, you know, um, you know, a new opportunity that somebody was wanting or maybe even expecting. And I feel like they didn't get it. You know, this could be you collective. You might have wanted a fresh start with a certain someone. Um, you didn't get that. But I feel like you are getting good karma. And this karma may come in the form of a relationship with somebody else. Relationship in the upright. Um, priest in the upright. This is like, you know, the counterpart to the priestess. So this is like a masculine energy, somebody spiritual, spiritually wise. Uh, they could be religious. Um, you know, can, can be gifted as well. Um, I feel like that's the good karma. The good karma is a relationship with uh, a true counterpart. You know, I this is what I get. I get like dropping that zero and getting with the hero. Like <laughs> boss in reverse. This was somebody faking, flodging, and thief in reverse. This is somebody that could have been stealing time, money, energy. They got caught. They've been exposed. Uh, this person could have been an illusionist. Thief reverse. Uh, travel reverse. Voodoo reverse. Somebody was unable to travel, or maybe their voodoo wasn't able to travel. Yeah, it wasn't touching you. Single, sexy, and successful. This is Nine of Pentacles energy. Yeah, somebody could have been trying to send you something or trying to astral travel to you, and they can't. It's been blocked. Blocked. It's been blocked from you. Yeah, whoever this is, they can't travel. This is somebody that lacks divinity, they lost their divinity. Yeah, they somebody might have lost their divinity. Uh, let's get into the spread. Um, see what we have. You know, get some more energy. This is interesting. This is a little bit different from the read that I started uh, before this one that didn't record. So, yeah. Okay, we're going to get into the tarot. Six or oh, seven, nine of swords reverse the star, knight of cups reverse, mm. the devil reverse, mm. and the chariot. So we have nine of swords reverse, the star, knight of cups reverse, the devil reverse, and the chariot. Uh, nine of swords reverse, you know, this is somebody coming out of stress, out of a nightmare. You know, out of anxiety, out of depression. Um, or it could be like an extreme stress, an extreme depression or anxiety. Uh, Nine of Swords, reverse. The Magician, reverse. Wheel of Fortune. The Lovers, reverse. Death. Yeah, somebody's uh somebody is stressed out. Somebody's really stressed out, you know, suffering anxiety, maybe some type of depression. They could be wanting to come out of this energy, but this is somebody that, you know, manipulates things, people, energy. Um magician reverse, this is black magic. So I don't know if somebody's going through like a shit storm because they did black magic. Uh 
Wheel of Fortune in the upright. This person wants to turn the wheel back into their favor. Um, they could have made like a, a bad choice in love. You know, they could have chose a false or they, they've either released a contract or they chose a false one. And this was like a permanent ending. This led to a permanent ending. Something's over. There could have been a contract that has ended. And yeah, it's like permanently, permanently ended. Somebody wants to come out of this nightmare. You know, they might have done black magic, but uh, maybe in order to turn the wheel back into their favor, they had to, they had to end this contract permanently. Yeah, because a tower, a tower has fallen, the tower reversed. There's been a sudden drastic change. You know, something has changed forever. Ace of Swords, yeah, somebody got the truth. Maybe that was the tower, the truth. Maybe somebody spoke the truth, Ace of Swords, you know, Three of Wands. They could have spoke the truth and now they're waiting, you know, for the dust to clear, I guess. Uh, Three of Wands is when you've done a little bit of work and you're waiting for results. So I feel like somebody could have, uh, you know, the truth could have been spoke and, you know, maybe somebody's waiting for, you know, the truth to make its rounds. I don't know. Uh, the Star, this talks about uh, your wish fulfillment, your most desired outcome. It can, it can talk about, you know, being faithful, being hopeful, um, or it can talk about, you know, star energy as well. You know, somebody that is, uh, you know, that has a very alluring energy, a very bright energy. Uh, the star, nine of cups reverse, six of swords, knight of swords, six of pentacles reverse. I feel like there's a situation there. There was a, you know, there either is or was a situation in which, you know, somebody didn't get what they wanted. You know, Nine of Cups Reverse talks about, you know, uh, a wish not being granted. You know, somebody being very unhappy, very discontent, uh, very unsatisfied. I feel like because this person was unsatisfied, they moved forward. Six of Swords, they walked away. Uh, they went from rough waters to calmer waters. And they might have did this quick, you know, collective. If this was you, you got out of there fast. You know, whatever situation this was that was not wish fulfillment for you, you know, you got it. You sailed away and you did it quick. Like, um, maybe because there was no equal give and take. Maybe because somebody took from you, they could have taken some type of money from you. But there was no, there was no uh, generosity, no reciprocity. No, no one gave to you. Um... Page of Wands reverse, Queen of Pentacles, the Sun, Page of Cups reverse. Yeah, there was no equal give and take. And then this was like a situation where there was like a lack of passion, maybe. Maybe you lost passion for somebody or they lost passion for you. Um... Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. This is okay. So this is like picking back up on the read that I thought was recording. Um, yeah, you lost. You could have lost. You know your passion for somebody because there was no equal give and take. They never gave to you. Um, maybe it was revealed. You know the sun talks about you know things being illuminated, uh, things done in the dark. You know coming to the light, uh, being enlightened. Maybe you became enlightened to the fact that you didn't. You really didn't like somebody. <laughs> You know, the Page of Cups is an ad admirer um, or a sentiment. You know, I love you. I like you. Um, in reverse, it's like, you know, no, I don't love you. I don't like you. Um, or it's like, you know, yeah, I don't admire you. Like, you don't. So it was either like revealed. You were enlightened to the fact that, you know, either somebody didn't like you or maybe you really didn't like somebody else, you know, based on the way they treated you or whatever the case. Like, I really don't like this person. Um, somebody wants to love bomb now. You know, Knight of Cups in reverse. This is somebody coming in with that love offer. You know, that big cup of unconditional love. But in reverse, you know, it's an empty cup. So they're coming in, they're laying it on thick. Um, or they just have bad intentions. Knight of Cups, reverse. Knight of Wands, reverse. Oh, goodness. The Hierophant, reverse. Four of Pentacles. The High Priestess, reverse. 
So this is a uh, feminine energy. This feminine, you know, this karmic femme or this dark high priestess could be wanting to love bomb somebody. They could be coming in really aggressive. Uh, the hair font reverse. This could represent the end of a contract. That's what I get, like that lover's reverse. This could represent the end of a contract. They're coming in and love bombing somebody and they're, you know, laying it on thick because a contract has ended with this person maybe, but they don't want to let go. Four of Pentacles. Something is ended. Could have been a marriage, a contract, but this person doesn't want to let go. High priest is in reverse. They don't want to let go. They do not want to let this go. This is somebody that lacks integrity. They lack righteous righteousness. They're not trustworthy. Um, and they're but they're working hard though. They're a hard worker. Like you know, <laughs> can't trust them. But uh, yeah, they're working hard on some evil shit, right? Or this could have happened in the past. Oops. Yeah, this person was like, you know, I get hidden enemy vibes. This is somebody that was working in the shadows, you know, maybe for a while. But they were working hard in the past. And they could have got exposed. They've been exposed. What they Something that this person did in the past has been exposed. They've been caught. Some de some deception, some lie, something. Uh, the devil in reverse, you know, this is, uh, the devil represents temptation, obsession, bondage. Um, in reverse, you know, it could be releasing those, releasing uh, toxicity, releasing the devil. Devil reverse. The hangman reverse. The empress. King of Cups. Three of Cups, Reverse. Seven of Wands. So, yeah, there's, there, you know, there could be somebody, you know, releasing uh, toxicity or, you know, um, yeah, they could be, you know, forced to release it, you know, because they're stuck. The Hangman Reverse, you know, uh, maybe somebody had to release Devil Energy in order to become unstuck. Um, maybe that go towards the Empress. Yeah, uh, I feel like this person is in, you know, this is uh, this King of Cups is the person, you know, they could have uh, released some toxicity or broken free from something, you know, uh, no longer been, they could have like broken some type of bondage, maybe that they were stuck in uh, to head towards the Empress, King of Cups, Three of Cups reverse and Seven of Wands. I feel like this person had to like, you know, stand their ground. They had to defend themselves. And stand their ground against maybe a group or organization. Could have been a friend group. Could have been co-workers. Uh, whatever the case, three cups reversed. You know, this is like a shady group of individuals. Um, and I feel like, you know, somebody had to stand their ground. Establish boundaries from the, these people, maybe. In order to release devil energy. To, you know, get unstuck. Ten of Pentacles. Um, like I said, this has something to do with a lot of money. <laughs> There's something to do with a lot of this can talk about uh generational wealth, um, a windfall of abundance and inheritance. Um, you know, this could be somebody's birthright, it might be their birthright, you know, the Empress or this King of Cups. Um, it's a lot of money. Ten of Pentacles, what is that? Five of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, somebody's about to go from a bad situation to a better one. I feel like this Ten of Pentacles is in the upright. This is coming to somebody. Five of Pentacles reverse. This is like in the upright. This is poverty. In reverse, you know, this is somebody coming out of poverty, coming in from out of the cold. Um, I feel like there's going to be like, just like in the Kipperish, there's going to be, you know, something that happens. And, you know, this is going to. There's a lot of abundance, a lot of prosperity, success, a lot of blessing coming to somebody. And I feel like there's a lot of other people who know that. Page of Pentacles, financial good news. I'm telling, look at that. All these Pentacles. It's some money coming to somebody. Uh, the Chariot, this talks about forward movement, you know, getting control of a situation. Um... Or, you know, moving forward victoriously. Uh, the Chariot... 
talk about a new car as well. Uh, Ace of Wands Reverse. Two of Cups. Ten of Cups Reverse. Damn. Two of Swords. So I feel like somebody wants to, you know, somebody is getting control of their situation. They could be wanting for a removement. Um, but they're delayed. There's either like a loss of passion, a loss of uh, interest here, or um, this person's delayed. They're facing delays when it comes to a partnership. Two of Cups, you know, it could be a soulmate connection, uh, past life connection. This person, um, this could have something to do with karmic family, or this could be like, you know, a lack of fulfillment. This person's delayed from a partnership because of a karmic family, a karmic family situation. Um, yeah, one in which it had them at an impasse. They were indecisive. They didn't know which way to go. They didn't know what choice to make. Uh, maybe because of this family. Two of Swords. King of Swords in the upright. Yeah, this person. Uh, five of Cups reverse. This person's been in regret. They really regret. They've been regretful maybe about the choices they made. Um, King of Wands in the upright. Everybody's in the upright today. Which, I mean, that's a, I guess that's a good thing. I don't know if this person had like a friend, a helper. Because I've seen this energy before. This King of Swords or sometimes the King of Pentacles and this King of Wands. And I think that these are two separate energies, but there's like somebody planning something. Like this King of Wands could be planning, I don't know, something to do with you, baby. Queen of Cups, what's up, boo? Uh, what is going on? What's going on with my Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups, they're planning something. They're strategizing something. These people want to come out of regret. They're, they're super regretful. Uh, Queen of Cups, what's up with the Queen of Cups? Two of Pentacles. You balancing your money, you know, getting your pinnacles uh, in order. Uh, four of Wands reverse. The full reverse. Three of Swords. Five of Wands. This is somebody, I don't know what, uh, why, I mean, I don't know why they would, uh, why, why somebody would put a Queen of Cups through so much. Um, Somebody was juggling you. You know, if this was like a love situation, yeah, you were being juggled. You know, Queen of Cups was being juggled. Um, there could have been like a, you know, a lack of union. Maybe you lost your twin flame. Maybe this was a false flame. Uh, whatever the case, you were dealing with somebody that was really reckless. Like this person just did not. It's just like they just didn't care. They, they gave no fuck. Like they just did not care. Um... Whatever that situation was, I feel like it was a lot of fighting. A lot of heartache. And I feel like, you know, all of these could be the same energy. These could really be all be the same energy. But um, this King of Wands, though. If this is somebody, if this is all the same person, then you, this is somebody that, yeah, this is your past person. Um, Queen of Wands, or King of Wands, though, um, it's not upright, I don't know what's going on here. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, that's you, Nine of Pentacles. Single, sexy, self-sufficient, successful. Um, Queen of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you are, that's your counterpart. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you are super creative, you know, very ambitious. Um, somebody's planning to, to make you an offer. Because I, as I'm pulling cards, I'm like, I'm really, you know, I was wanting to know who this was and what is their deal? What are they about? This person, this King of Wands wants to make you a solid offer. King of Wands wants to make a solid. This is not a page. This is a knight. So it's a step. <laughs> it's a step up. Um, but, you know, this person wants to make an offer to the queen. Yeah, this king of uh, this king of wands wants to make an offer, a solid offer. 
you know knight of pentacles this is a slow moving energy so if this is an offer it's coming in really really slow but uh it's a solid offer you know when it finally makes it to you it's a very solid offer um yeah i cannot make this up ace of cups you know that's the the big cup uh big the the, the biggest cup of you know um unconditional love passionate new beginning uh uh, a flourishing new romance, you know. Um, this could be somebody new. Like, legit, because there are, like, you know, a lot of masculine energies over here. King of Swords, you got the King of Cups right here. Um, everybody's in the upright, too. This could be somebody new. If this is, this is somebody you're attracted to. Somebody you find it. Well, I mean, both of you are attractive. You know, King of Wands, King and Queen of Wands, they typically, and not just physically, you know, it's just the energy that they carry, that they stand in. Uh, these are typically attractive people. Ten of Swords Reverse, yeah. Healing from Betrayal. You know, coming out of that. Um, Ten of Wands Reverse. This is like, I'm the man... Ten of Wands reverse, so releasing all of those burdens. The ultimate burden, release. Uh, the ultimate betrayals, release. Ace of Cups, and this is a solid offer. Um, like I said, if this is somebody new, shh, baby. Uh, Seven of Pentacles reverse. What's that? Judgment reverse. Five of Swords reverse. Page of Swords reverse. Somebody here is going through bad karma. If someone going through bad karma, they, you know, didn't use their better judgment. They're they're wanting to escape judgment. This is somebody that was deceptive and they've been defeated. This is somebody that could have, you know, talked bad about you. They told lies about you. Somebody told a lot of lies about you. Page of Swords Reverse. What is that? Oh, the Emperor. And he, he's in the upright, too. Like I said, this masculine energy is in the upright across the board uh this person could feel like they yeah that's who it was i'm like i know there's a feminine here somewhere queen of swords reverse karmic feminine energy this is somebody that trash talked you lied about you spread rumors about you they are they're going through bad karma and they they don't want to face judgment huh okay um you have the emperor in the upright uh this person could feel like they blew it like they missed the opportunity if this is your past person um, this could also be this karmic film over here, you know, feeling rejected because, uh, they are, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. Um, anything in closing spirit, closing, nine of pentacles, what's up nine of pentacles, temperance reverse. Yeah, that's the emperor. The emperor is focused on you. They're focused, this, you know, this is the minor arcana of the empress. Um, one of you said something in my comments the other day about, uh, you said the Empress is major arcana. I know that the Empress is, <laughs> is major arcana. I was referring to the nine of pentacles, which would be the minor arcana of, uh, the Empress. Um, but yeah, somebody's not doing too hot. I think it's this emperor, you know, it could be your DM, a uh, father figure, a boss, this person, and it's like mental. This is like, this person is going through it mentally. It's, I mean, this could have uh, phys physical ailments as well. This just feels like, um, like a lot of worry, a lot of worry, fear, anxiety. It's, yeah, this person's in balance, temperance reverse. Their emotions could be out of whack. Baby, the world. Close the cycle though. All you gotta do is heal. <laughs> you know, whoever this emperor is. And even you, collective, you know, you close something, man. There's a cycle that's closed here. The world. Completion. All you got to do is heal now. It's only up from here. <laughs> man, uh, let me get you guys an oracle. I'm going to pull from Angel Guide. Let's see what we have here. It's a good one, Spirit. It's a good one. All right. Signs and Reminders. Signs and reminders. There go. All right, signs and reminders. Angels and loved ones in heaven are sending you signs of their presence now. 
you may be seeing the same number patterns or sequ sequences, finding feathers, seeing the same birds at special times, or even feeling that you've been visited by a loved one or angel in dreams or at some point in your day. These are all messages of support. You are on the right path and you are being guided to know that you do not walk this path alone. In times of need, angels are beside you, blessing your heart with love and healing. And your angels and loved ones in heaven will never leave you. Their love will never die. Angels love to send us signs because we're because often we're not in a space where we can fully listen to their guidance. Most of the time, we're too busy or not willing to listen to the messages we hear on the inside, and signs catch our attention. They remind us that our angels and loved ones in spirit are with us and willing to help us. If you have ever found yourself questioning certain events or signs, it's because somewhere within you, you don't feel fully adequate or worthy of the love that is being shown to you. Know that you are worthy. When you receive a sign, there is an important step you must take in order to usher miracles into your life. Call in help. A sign is a message that help is available, so welcome it in with an open heart. Signs and reminders, baby. All right, I'm gonna close this uh, close this reading here. I hope this helps. Hope there was some uh, some confirmation, maybe some encouragement. Uh, maybe, you know, this helps put two and two together. Um, if nothing else, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I love you guys, um, a whole lot, a great deal. And I uh, hope everybody's enjoying their day. Um, as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.